Hello everyone. Our today's topic is how to use a transistor as a switch. Okay. So you can see in the screen this is a very basic circuit of a how to connect a switch in a LED circuit. Okay. So here you can see we have a voltage source, we have a LED, we have a current limiting resistance and a switch. Here right. Here you can see I just opened the switch and there is no current flowing through the LED right so that's why the LED is turned off and now I connect the switch and you can see the LED is just turned on okay and you can see the current is around 26.6 milliampere. We connect this resistance 300 ohm just to limit the current such that this LED will not burn okay. If I decrease the resistance or if I directly connect the voltage source with the LED then this LED will burn as you can see here. If I just decrease the resistance to 100 ohm, you can see it's just burned, right? That's why I just connect a resistance with 300 ohm, okay, to limit the current. Now you can see we have a switch, right? And you can see here when the switch is turned on at that time, the voltage drop across the switch is 0 volt, okay? And when I just turned off the switch, LED is turned off and the voltage drop across the switch is 10 volt, right? So now we need to use the transistor such that the transistor will act as a switch okay so here you can see i just make the same circuit okay here in the normal circuit the voltage source is 10 volt the current limiting resistance is 300 ohm and you can see the current is 26.6 milliampere right here also you can see this one is a circuit with a transistor right and here the transistor will act as a switch and when the switch is turned on you can see the led is turned on and the current flowing through the LED is same as the normal circuit is 26.6 milliampere okay and now if I turn off the switch you can see that one the current flow through the LED is around 237 picoampere that means it's close to zero right and the current is flow through the transistor okay so you understood if I make this one zero then the LED is turned on that means I just disconnect the source from the base of the transistor okay and if I turn on the voltage source then the transistor is turned on and the current flow through the transistor okay and the LED is turned off okay. So here you can see I can control the current flow through the LED by turn on and turn off the transistor okay. We can say here in this circuit transistor will act as a switch okay and when the transistor is act as a switch at that time you can see the voltage drop across the transistor is how much is around 132 millivolt okay this point you can see that is around 130 millivolt right that means very close to zero okay that means this transistor is already working in the saturation region okay we know in the output characteristics we have two region okay one is the active region one is the saturation region so we can use transistor as an amplifier when the transistor is in active region okay and we can use the transistor as a switch when the transistor work in the saturation region okay now let's go to the theory portion and i will tell you how a transistor will work as a switch and why we need to operate the transistor at the saturation region to work as a switch okay so this one is the switch S okay and this switch will be sometime on sometime off right and in the simulation I already show you if I connect a voltmeter across this switch okay when this switch is on the switch is on at that time the voltage will be 0 volt across the switch okay and when the switch is off at that time the voltage will be 10 volt okay so I already explained you the basic concept of this particular circuit right when the switch will be turned on this LED will be turned on why as at the time 26.6 milliampere will flow through the LED and LED will be turned on okay so if I need to use something as a switch so first condition will be when the switch will be on at that time the voltage drop across the switch will be tends to zero okay but this switch have some limitation what this switch is a manual switch that means we need to turn off the switch by ourselves like in our home if we need to turn on the fan or light we need to turn on the switch by manually right but 
in the electronic circuit we need a switch that switch need to be automatic right and that switch should be turned on or turned off by the input signals right so that's why we need to use something that will act as a automatic switch right so we need to use a transistor we can use a transistor such that that transistor will act as a switch and we can control that switch by giving the input of the transistor either 5 volt or 0 volt okay now if i just draw the output characteristic of the transistor we all know that if this is the ib and this is the vce then the output characteristics will be like this right and this one we call as a saturation region right this will be this will be saturation region and this entire region will be active region right and this will be cutoff region right when you need to use a transistor as a amplifier at that time we need to use this portion okay as i already have some video why we need to use a transistor in the active region to use it as an amplifier okay you can check that one and for the switch we need to use this portion okay this portion will act as a this portion if we use the transistor or if we operate the transistor in this saturation region then this transistor will act as a switch why you can see that one we all know the vc saturation for a transistor is around 0.2 volt right that means for the whole entire output characteristics this is the minimum voltage at which transistor can operate right and we i already told you if i need to use something at switch that time the voltage drop across that device should be tends to zero that's why when you need to use a transistor as a switch at that time we need to operate the transistor at the saturation region okay this is the reason when we use a transistor as a switch at that time we need to operate the transistor in the saturation region okay now i will show you how the transistor will work as a switch now you can see the base resistance is 1 kilo ohm and collector resistance is 300 ohm right that means the ib will be how much ib will be 5 minus 0 0.7 divided by 1k right that means it will be 4.7 milliampere and generally transistor beta is 100 right that means the ic will be 4.7 multiplied by 100 that means we can write down 4700 milliampere or 4.7 ampere right if 4.7 ampere current flows through the this 300 ohm resistance then what will happen then we will get vc will be negative right that is not possible right that mean at that time this transistor will operate at a saturation region that mean vc will be 0 0.2 volt okay so you already understand why i choose this voltage and why i choose this resistance so this voltage is 5 volt okay this resistance is 1 kilo ohm okay so we choose 1 kilo ohm such that transistor will act as a saturation region okay that means when the when we give 5 volt as the input voltage at that time this voltage drop will be 0 0.2 volt okay now case one okay case one is when vbb is 5 volt okay when vbb is 5 volt at that time there will be base current flow through the transistor right due to that one transistor will be turned on and the collector current will flow through the 300 ohm resistance and it will flow through the transistor right that means there will be no current flow through the led as transistor is on that means this led will be turned off okay that means when vbb is 5 volt at that time led is off okay now case 2 for the case 2 we will give 0 volt as a vbb okay 
So VBB is zero volt. Okay. As VBB is zero volt, that means there will be no current flow through the base of the transistor or through the transistor, right? That means IB will be equal to zero as VBB is zero. If IB equal to zero, we can write down IC will be beta into IB. That means equal to zero ampere, right? That means here there is a disconnection, right? That means no current will flow through the transistor. Okay, so the eventually the circuit will looks like this one. There will be 10 volt voltage source, a 300 ohm resistance, and a LED is connected through the this one, right? That means this circuit will looks like just this one, right? When the switch is on, that means the current will flow through the LED and it will be around 26.6 milliampere. Okay, so what will happen? The LED will be turned on. Okay, so we can say here this particular portion of the circuit will act as a switch. Okay. And we can control the switch by changing the voltage of the VBB, okay, or the voltage at the gate of the transistor. If I make the gate voltage zero, that means transistor will be turned off, okay. If the transistor will be turned off, then the circuit will be turned on, LED circuit will be turned on and LED will be glow or turned on. When the VBB will be 5 volt, at that time, base current will flow through the transistor Due to that one, collector current will flow through the transistor. That means there will be no current flow through the LED. So, LED will be turned off. Okay. So, now you can understand how a transistor will work as a switch when the transistor will operate in the saturation region. Okay. So, this is all for this video. Thank you. See you in the next video. Thanks for your time. Please do share this concept with your friends. And if you like this video, please press the like button. It is really means a lot for me. Bye-bye.